flame, so we're just giving another minute. Yep. But I mean, even the colors. The colors are great. Sort of come together. It's looking delicious. And I, and I think if you put a lot of the oil, you're going to get like that. Yeah, that little kind crispy, crusty on the outside. Side. I love yeah, that. that's always really nice. Yeah, exactly. Just move that around. And you know, I, I don't think I would have thought of putting the hot sausage in there, but it looks delicious and it smells really good. Yeah, I mean, I, I was looking in, you know, your refrigerator and I said, yeah, the sausage is definitely a must. It's a must well, try. Oh, good. See, I love this. I always learn new things from you. So, Barb, what's your favorite breakfast? My favorite breakfast? Hmm. I would say Eggs Benedict. Do you like Eggs Benedict? I love Eggs Benedict. I don't have it very often, but I do love it. Well, we definitely have to definitely make this the Go tribute. Go towards? Yeah, oh, okay, of the, of the Eggs Benedict special. Wonderful. This, this will be something that's definitely... Oh, that looks so good, and it's so crispy. That's why I like it. I love. And that I was simple, just shredded potatoes. That's it. Idaho potatoes. That's it. I knew a chef years ago. A low ago. sugar potato. Low sugar, right. Right. Now, you're still doing a lot of work for, like, uh, the Heart Foundation, Diabetes Yeah, group, American like Heart that. Association, American Diabetes. Going? I have a new book I'm writing for the American Diabetes oh, really? Association. Yeah. Interesting. Should be out in 2012, Stress-Free Cooking for People with Diabetes. Now, that's a book. Because that's there's a great nothing book. out there, really, that I find. My dad's a diabetic, and it's, oh, really? it's tough. It's tough to find, yeah, it is you know, tough good to recipes. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, if, if, there, if there's not people, good people like you helping people with diabetes... They tend to slip. Well, I you think it's I mean? very difficult to eat well when you've been told you have something like that. First, you go into shock. Oh, my God, I can't eat anything. Exactly. And so you want to learn perfect fit. You want to learn what it is that you can eat. So, you know, cookbooks are a great way to start, You're especially right. if they have the seal of the American Diabetes Association on them. You know that they've approved of all of the recipes. And you know, it's 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 not easy, especially like with, with diabetes and stuff like that. You know, when they have those That's limitations. Perfect. It's so tempting, isn't it? It's like it really is. You know. And they really have changed the rules. You know, it used to be that a diabetic or per now we want to say a person with diabetes mm -hmm. couldn't eat anything with sugar. Now yeah. you, you learn a little bit more about things that you can have, like honey. Honey is okay Kay. in small amounts because it's absorbed more slowly into the bloodstream. So you don't get that big sugar spurt. I know my dad was getting into like agave. Yeah, that's a good thing too. Natural. Yeah. You know, do you want these here or do you want me to move them? Yeah, that's good. I'm just going to slide this on here. That looks excellent. Yeah. Woo. Nice. Perfect. Oh, and it's still puffing up a little bit. And it really does look great. I love the, my grandmother used to do this technique with a lot of oil. It used to be like a ton of oil. <laughs> and like you'd bite the omelet down and like the grease would run down your mouth. Yeah. But it but really. you liked it. I loved it, you know, and that's kind of what I learned it from. Yeah. You know, if you like that kind of crispy texture on an egg, you know, you I need think something like important. that. You're going to need a little more oil. It's like we were talking about the other day, eating a portobello mushroom. I hate that soggy texture. Yeah, yeah. But if one side is, you know, I think one these side are good. is cooked nicely. Okay. Now, where do you want to put those? Uh, on top. How, how would you do that? All right. Well, we could loosen that actually with a knife. Since we didn't put any uh, oil or anything in here, we just have okay. to run the knife around it. And they'll come right, right out. Now, do you plop them just over? Well, I don't usually turn them upside down, but you could. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and slide it right out like Perfect. so. Perfect. Did That's you want awesome. me to do one more? Do you want to do one more just for... Uh, oh, this one, right. I'm sure okay. you'll have a neighbor with what you're cooking. Did you <laughs> tell everybody about the, how you get, like... Neighbors that want to just come over here and eat all day? My I, I, I just moved to a new neighborhood, and it seems that my neighbors are very friendly. Now, these are good, and at the very end, we're going to hit them with the spice. Okay. This is Barbara's favorite spice. Togarashi. It's mm. an orange zest and pepper blend. It's from the Japanese spice cabinet, and I love very it. Very nice. It gives everything a nice and kick. And one more of this name? Togar Togarashi. Togarashi. Oh, I wow. had it in Florida Sorry. once on popcorn. It was really delicious. Popcorn. Popcorn, yeah. They, we were in a hotel restaurant and we were sitting at the bar waiting for our table and they served popcorn with togarashi on it. Really? It was great. Now you would say that you're you're a big foodie. What, I would what's, say so. What's your, I would definitely classify you as the <laughs> foodie. But what, what what what's some of your favorite foods? I mean, you kind of cook a, a little bit of everything. Well, I tend, I think I tend to use mostly authentic Italian ingredients. Yeah. I, see, be, I think because of my heritage and also I like the fresh 
quality ingredients. Yeah. So I use a lot of basil, a lot of extra virgin olive oil. Um, I love truffles. I think truffles are just a wonderful luxury. Oh, really? And so a little truffle paste mixed with some fresh pasta, and I like truffles with fresh pasta. But oh, truffles, truffles also go too. great with eggs and with chicken. You want to put truffles on something really light, but truffles would be my weakness. I love truffles too. Do you? I, I do, yeah. Black truffles. I, I, we, I didn't know if you had black truffles. I could have put them in eggs. You know, unfortunately, a black truffle is not something I just keep in the fridge. I'm just going to make a quick sauce for the top of those eggs. Okay, great. Which is some egg, egg yolks. A little bit of heavy cream and nice. a little bit of vinegar. Not too much, just a little. Okay. And then I'm going to start to just temper it over the over hot the, water. The water left from the eggs that yeah. were poached. And, and the reason why I use a little cream is because if you're not used to this technique, the cream actually will help it and keep it from breaking. Okay. Now, I've been doing this a little while, so what I do is I just dump it in for a little bit and it. pull it up. You're really not supposed to. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. But you got to kind of move it around until you think that there could be a possibility, you know, that you might have scrambled eggs. Right. You know, that you don't want. And then what I do is I take the butter. Butter, egg yolks, cream. Yeah, and I just <laughs> rock it back and forth. What the butter does is it just thickens it up a bit. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I'll return it to the fire, get a little more thicker, come back and forth. Now, I've already put some salt in there. Uh, you know, everybody says that the key ingredient in this is either lemon juice or um, vinegar. Vinegar. You know, I like vine vinegar. The lemon juice to me just kind of kills it a little bit. Yeah. Now, if you notice, it's starting to get thick already. Yes, it is. I don't like to get mine too thick. Okay. I don't know. That's just a personal preference. But a friend of mine uh, that well, when we get... Well, it's so rich, you don't need it very thick. Exactly. Exactly. I got a chef friend of mine. He comes into town. If we go and we grab some breakfast somewhere, he likes it like thick, like a paste. Oh, no. I think it's disgusting, but hey, you know. The no thing rules. with holidays, if you order breakfast out and you order eggs Benedict, it's not always hot by the time it comes to the table. Uh, can I boil you for a little cracked black pepper? Sure. I think this is ready to go. All right, this is almost done. I'll just take it off oh, the fire and whisk perfect. it again. Yeah, now, what do you What do you look for in Benedict? I mean, I mean. There what are so many for? different kinds of Benedict that got just, right. just get butchered. Well, yeah, they. I think I look for a really well-made hollandaise sauce, okay. not too thick, because then if it's cold, it's really bad. Nothing yeah. worse than thick, cold hollandaise. Yeah. Um, a fre a really nice fresh egg that's not overcooked, and I love the potato, but I would look if I were having this on an English muffin that's traditional. I would also like that to be nice and crispy. Well, let me put on Let's, some yes, hollandaise Let's, yes, because we want to make sure we save time for our little treat at the end. Absolutely. Just put that over oh, there. Oh, that looks perfect. Yeah, perfect and, and you, know, it's not, you know, it's not clumpy. It's not that No, it looks runny. great. I don't like it any thicker than that. No, However, I don't either. I think that's perfect. And the color is amazing. If you did the textbooks, they would probably tell you that that should be a little thicker. Really? But no, I don't think no so. There's no rules in cooking. So. There's no rules. <laughs> Joe has his own rules. That is beautiful. That's it. Well, you know what else I'd like to compliment this entire menu with would be some Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, nice. Very nice. And, you know, it's classically served sometimes with balsamic vinegar or fresh strawberries with black pepper. But hmm. I found this strawberry liqueur. Are those baby... Uh, yeah, they're wow. baby strawberries from Italy. And I thought to myself, wouldn't that be a really special wow. way to serve wow. the Parmigiano Reggiano? That is incredible. And I love those strawberries. They're really cool. Interesting. Try it. I will. Mmm. That's really good. Wow. That's really interesting. I've always been fond of the way the Europeans... Uh, and other parts of the areas of the world can come up with these great liqueurs with fruit. Mm -hmm. And because we, we don't generally see these baby strawberries here in the U.S. No, much, no, you know? that's definitely something that's grown in Italy. But um, I think it's just wonderful, isn't it? Well, I want to taste this. I've been oh, dying to taste this. Between the potato and the hollandaise. Mm. Good? Oh, my God. That hollandaise is the best I've ever had. Well, thank you. I mean, mm. oh, my God, so delicious. Thank you so much, Thank Joe. Thank you so much, Barbara, for being here. It's been pleasure. fun, as Always usual, pleasure cooking with you. I love cooking with Joe. He's so creative. I wish that I could always cook without recipes, but sometimes we do have to put something on the paper. I'm Barbara Selig-Brown. Thanks so much for joining us on Stress-Free Cooking today. 
please visit my website, stressfreecooking.com, and I'll send you some recipes. Stress-Free Cooking is brought to you by From the sunny Mediterranean comes one of the world's finest olive oils for all your cooking needs. Pompeian Extra Virgin Olive Oil, Classic Mediterranean, and Extra Light Tasting. Pompeian makes everything better. From our table to yours, Opeachy Wines. Fine wines and spirits from around the world since 1913. Cutco, the world's finest cutlery. Melissa's, the freshest ideas in produce. And Sub Zero Wolf Appliances. Enjoy Barbara Selig Brown's cookbook as she shows you how to make stress-free dishes in the comfort of your own home. Offer made by Stress-Free Cooking for $19.95.